This is the Generation 2 Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. It boasts several thoughtful improvements over the original Ode, one in particular that'll make most of us coffee nerds extremely happy. I know that was probably an overly epic intro for a YouTube video, but that's my style. Deal with it. And if you like it and you want to deal with more of it, make sure you're subscribed and you got that uh, notifications button turned on so you get notified when I post really stupidly over epic stuff like this. The Generation 2 Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. As the name suggests, it's still not designed for grinding for espresso. However, it is still absolutely fantastic grinding for filter, cold brew, aeropress, French press, and any other non-espresso brew method. In the future, that would be a welcome upgrade. I know for a lot of us having a brew grinder that's this capable, that can also grind for espresso, that could stay in maybe close to a similar price range would be absolutely incredible. So fellow, if you're listening, maybe the uh, Generation 3 Ode might be capable of grinding for espresso. That'd be pretty cool. Speaking of fellow, before we go any further into this video, I have to extend a huge thanks to them. They gifted me this ode, but they are not paying me for this video and they didn't have anything to do with this video or have any input on it. All right, let's dive into what's new on the Gen 2 ode. The number one aesthetic thing you're probably gonna notice is the taller hopper and the larger diameter grounds catch bin. The old hopper has been scrapped in lieu of this new one, which has a larger capacity and a steeper angle to allow for better flow of beans into the grind chamber. The grounds catch bin and hopper capacities have been increased to where you can now grind 94 grams of coffee at once for people who do 1.5 liter batch brewing. This wasn't a concern for me and probably not a concern for most of you out there, but I'm sure it's a welcome improvement for those who needed it. As far as improvements that you can physically see, that's it. I was secretly hoping for more aesthetic changes, but maintaining the Ode's original design and style is a smart business move from Fellow. For obvious reasons, this is a design a lot of people like, myself included. It's minimal, it's contemporary, it's got a small footprint, and it looks great in pretty much any kitchen or on any coffee bar, no matter what your style is. So by keeping it this way, I'm sure it helps keep manufacturing costs down, which ultimately keeps the costs down for consumers like you and I. Moving on to the improvements you can't see. Inside the Gen 2 Ode is where you're gonna find the improvements that matter most to coffee nerds like you and I. Now, obviously I haven't taken it apart and looked inside yet. I literally just took this out of the box not that long ago. From what I understand, the tolerances are tighter, which makes for a smoother and quieter operation. And I'm sure that'll make some of you happy because I know the older Odes have a tendency to get a little loud and rattly, especially after you've been inside them a few times and especially after you've upgraded the burrs. <laughs> Seems to be quieter. I love the auto stop. The grind chamber has been redesigned, so now any SSP burr can fit without issue, which is awesome. I've also been informed that the auger has been updated, which allows for better burr alignment and keeps the auger from sticking, which is a problem that some people experienced on the original Ode. Another interesting improvement is the use of some new anti-static materials, which helps reduce static and also helps reduce retention without having to RDT. I've been told that the retention is now only 0.1 gram without utilizing RDT or using bellows. Just using the good old knocker. I think we should grind a little coffee, check the static here, and also check the retention. And I'm not going to RDT this. This is 21.8 grams of coffee, and I'm just gonna leave it set on setting six. So let's, let's do it. The new hopper is really nice, how everything just funnels down in there real quickly. I don't see any static. Moment of truth, 21.8 grams is what this was. 21.7 grams, exactly 0.1 gram of retention. So there you go, pretty good, pretty good. And I don't see any static. There's like one little piece of coffee right here. I don't see any other static. I don't see anything really sticking around the bottom, which I know can be an issue, especially my DF64. That thing is static everywhere. This, that's nice. The final improvement is that the Generation 2 errs are now standard on all new odes going forward. So that should make a lot of you really happy. I know there were some people out there that were waiting for the Gen 2 burrs to be included as a standard option, uh, already installed, and now you got it. So go buy yourself a new ode. 
If you already have an ode with the Gen 2 burrs installed or another aftermarket burr that you're happy with, like the SSP MP or the Gorilla Gears or something like that, then I don't know that this ode with its slightly higher starting price of 345 US dollars is going to get you a better cup of coffee than what you're already getting. If you're looking to get into a grinder like this for the first time, or like I said, have an original ode with original burrs and you just want something new, then this is definitely the way to go. Or if you have some extra money and you don't wanna to have to RDT anymore, you want the new hopper design, you want the larger capacity grinds bin, and you want quieter and smoother operation, then this is the way to go too. I think that was probably good, right? Okay. That was good. Oh shit, my mic wasn't on. I'm just kidding. With all that being said, I'd like to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking the videos. Please leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on the new Gen 2, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you